Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. We are in day one of Ramadan, the night of Ramadan, which is day one in the Islamic calendar. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Ramadan is well known to be the month of the Quran. And we're going to take you for the next 30 days, inshallah, in a journey. Almost every question you have in your mind, the answer should be, is it in the Quran? So a question followed by a question. And the answer is, Yes, either directly or it's going to be indirectly. And we're going to take you through the most common questions human beings in general ask. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us and make it a blessed month for everyone. One of the most common questions we ask ourselves and we even ask each other, why did Allah put us on this earth? Why did he create us? And the answer is in the Quran. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ قَالُوا وَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ O oh Muhammad, when your Lord, when Allah said to the angels, indeed, I will make upon this earth a successor, authoritative figure. Angels responded, will you place upon it one who causes corruption and sheds blood? While we, angels, exalt you with praise and declare your perfection, Allah responded, indeed, I know what you don't know. So here you go. This is the beginning of everything. It's the opening scene of the human creation. We're not created yet, but the goal of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the angels, supreme society of the angels. And this is the discussion. Allah have made it. Allah have decided it. I am going to put on this earth. This earth is not going to be empty. This earth is going to be occupied by human beings, not by angels. And in his infinite wisdom, he decided that he will hand over this earth, all the affairs in this earth, and the destiny of the human being, and give him free hand to use, develop, transform everything in this earth, all the energies, all the resources, to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and to fulfill Allah's orders, and the purpose of putting us on this earth is actually this. Fulfill what Allah wants from us. The scholars always asked, what is Khalifa? What does the word Khalifa really mean? So Khalifa, if you look at the translation, right, it can be easily goes at successor, as someone who brings more generations and representative. You and me, subhanAllah, are representative of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does that mean? Means everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had described himself in his names and beautiful attributes. He wants to see this in us. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Rahim, all merciful. He wants to see Rahmah in us between us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving, for example. Then he wants to see this between us. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained, he didn't use the word khalifa, but he answered this question. And this is a sort of dariyat. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create jinn and ins, human engines, engines, but to worship me. And then if I and you look at the word worship, that means I'm not going to do anything in this life. I am just going to be praying, fasting, reading Quran. Well, then we have made the definition of ibadah, of worship, very limited. And Allah will not ask me to do only this. Then how, how I'm going to be a, the human being he wants me to be khalifa and work on this earth and take care of the earth. Imam Ibn Taymiyyah described it beautifully. Every act the human being does, external or internal, act or saying that is pleasing to Allah 
and he loves. كل ما يحب الله ويرضى من الأقوال والأفعال الظاهرة والباطنة. Every word, every action, internal and external. That Allah loves and pleased with that ibadah. That's why I am here. That's why he put me here. Obey him. Say what pleases him. Do what pleases him. Stay away from what he doesn't want, what he doesn't like. Then I am the true Khalifa. <laughs>